I do wake up before dawn every day. I do work 40 hours a week, but I can barely afford to live my life. People have to go out, they have to work really hard, and they have to get into that upper stratum. In our country, there was always the belief that regardless of your income, you had the opportunity to move up the economic ladder. There was the reality, not just the belief, but the reality, that we had a great and expanding middle class. That's not the case. I think a lot of my generation is sort of growing up and realizing this isn't the country and the economy that we were promised we were going to have, not even in a selfish way. We were just told as children that if you work hard, if you go to school, you'll eventually be able to buy a house, have kids, and have whatever job you want to have. It's been assumed that you're leaving your children off better than you were. That's always sort of been the assumption. Each generation goes forward. That's sort of like part of the American dream that people pitch is that you always know that you're leaving a country, a planet, and an economy better off to your kids than you found it, and I don't think that's true at all today. There was a mother that works with me last week talking about how she doesn't know how she's going to get her kids any Christmas presents this year. Another mother I work with, she talks every day about how she needs to make good tips because she has to have enough gas in her car to get from her job at Dunkin' Donuts back to picking up her child at daycare back home, and then the next morning before work, drop her off at daycare again and then drive to work. And she always makes sure that she has to get, I don't know what her number is, I think it's like $7.38. She figured out the math that she needs to make in tips every day to be able to get to work. And she still has to pay someone to watch her child and she's making less than $12 an hour. I grew up as a child that way and I know what that's like and I know how scary it is. Someone who works full time should not have to live like that. I think it's the first time really in generations that we've had sort of this like, well, don't know what we're gonna do. We know what we want to do. I want to become a professor. That's what I want to do. But getting there is going to be extremely difficult and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get there. I don't know whether I'm going to be renting for the rest of my life or whether I'm going to eventually be able to buy a house. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to become a professor eventually or whether I'm going to have to continue to wake up before dawn for the next 50, 60 years until I can retire. So I, I just really don't know and I, from what I understand, that's not the way this country used to be.